Hello everyone, I'm Hao Zhang. Today I'm going to present our interspecies paper, Deep Learning Based Active Noise Control. Here is the outline. Let's start with the background of active noise control. ANC is a noise cancellation technology based on the principle of destructive interference of acoustic signals. A typical feedforward ANC system is shown in this figure. It consists of a reference microphone, a cancelling loudspeaker, and an arrow microphone. The reference signal XT is picked up by the reference microphone. The cancelling signal YT generated by the ANC is passed through the cancelling loudspeaker and the secondary pass to generate the anti-noise AT. The goal of the ANC system is to generate an anti-noise with the same amplitude but opposite phase concerning the primary noise DT which is then able to cancel the primary noise when both signals interfere. Traditionally, an active noise controller is implemented using adaptive filters in a recursive way to optimize filter characteristics by minimizing an error signal. Filtered X least mean squared algorithm and its extensions are the most widely used active noise controllers due to their simplicity and robustness. However, Nonlinear distortions are inevitably introduced to the, uh, the anti-noise in applications of ANC due to the limited quality of electronic devices such as amplifiers and loudspeakers. LMS-based methods are fundamentally linear and fail to identify the underlying filters accurately in the presence of nonlinearities. Even a small nonlinearity can have a significant negative impact on the FX LMS behavior. Many adaptive nonlinear ANC algorithms have been proposed to address nonlinear distortions, such as Volterra filter and the tangential hyperbolic function fix FX LMS. However, their performance is still limited in the presence of strong nonlinearities. Neural networks have also been introduced to address nonlinear ANC, considering their ability in handling nonlinear relations. For example, the multiple layer perceptron, fuzzy neural networks, and the recurrent neural network based ANC methods. <clears throat> However, these neural network architectures utilize online adaptation or training to minimize error signal of ANC system and that they can still be regarded as adaptive algorithms. ANC aims to output a cancelling signal to eliminate or attenuate the primary noise, considering that deep learning is capable of modeling complex nonlinear relationships and can potentially take an important role in addressing nonlinear ANC problems. In this paper, we formulate ANC as a supervised learning problem and propose a new approach named Deep ANC to address ANC, particularly the nonlinear ANC problem. However, formulating ANC as a supervised learning problem is non trivial. There are two conceptual obstacles to such formulation. First, it is not straightforward to define what the training target should be for DNN, although the ideal Cancelling signal for attenuating primary noise is known. It cannot be used directly as desired output of the DNN due to the existence of the loudspeaker and the secondary path. Second, the primary and secondary path can be time varying, and the transfer function that DNN needs to approximate can be different for different acoustic environments. This seems to imply that a supervised learning model needs to predict one to many mapping, which is an impossible job. However, as detailed in the following slides, we have access to the ideal cancelling signal, uh, cancelling noise to supervise DN training, and the DN can be trained to estimate for a given input some average of the different outputs for different scenarios. With these observations, deep ANC can be ANC can be formulated as deep learning task. Our study makes four major contributions. First, complex spectral mapping is employed for accurate estimation, and large-scale multi-conditioning training is used to attenuate a variety of noises and cope with the variations in acoustic environments. Second, in addition to attenuating noise, we propose to train deep ANC to selectively attenuate the noise components of a noisy speech signal and let the underlying speech pass through. Namely, the deep ANC in principle 
is able to maintain the target signal embedded in noise by selectively canceling the noise components of the noisy signal. Third, we introduced a delay compensated training strategy to tackle the shortcoming of frequency domain ANC algorithms. Last, we expand deep ANC to perform ANC within a small spatial room. Now let's take a look at the proposed method. Different from traditional ANC methods that need to estimate the second pass and the active noise controller individually, deep ANC use supervised learning and trains deep neural network to directly approximate an active noise controller to minimize the error signal under different situations. To be specific, a convolutional recurrent neural network is trained to estimate the real and imaginary spectrograms of cancelling signal from the reference signal. The subsequent anti-noise is obtained by passing the cancelling signal through a loudspeaker and a second pass. We use the real and imaginary spectrograms of XT, which is denoted as XRMC and XIMC for complex spectral mapping. The CRN is trained to output the real and imaginary spectrograms of the cancelling signal, which are then sent to inverse Fourier transforms to derive a waveform uh, signal, YT. During training, the output of the DN, deep ANC, YT, is passed through the loudspeaker and the second pass to generate the actual anti-noise. The loss function is obtained by comparing the ideal anti-noise with the actual anti-noise. The CRN is an encoder-decoder architecture where the encoder and decoder comprise, comprise, comprise five convolutional layers and five deconvolutional layers, respectively. Between them is a two-layer LSTM with a group strategy, where the group number is set to two. In real-world applications, ANC applications may need to handle cases when the reference signal is a noisy speech. Taking noise cancelling headphones as an example, the reference microphones on the headphones may pick up voice when someone is talking near to the speaker, uh, to the user. The reference signal in this case is a mixture of speech and primary noise. In this case, ANC should ideally allow the speech signal to pass through while suppressing the primary noise. Deep ANC can be trained to achieve noise cancellation, no matter whether the reference signal is noise or noisy speech by using proper training data as loss functions and loss functions as is uh, shown in this diagram. We propose two training strategies for the deep ANC method. One is deep ANC trained with noise. The model trained this way aims to cancel any noise received at the reference microphone. To achieve this, we use noise signal NT as a reference signal and train the deep ANC to completely eliminate the primary noise. The definition of loss function in this case is given here. The other one is deep ANC trained with noisy speech. In this case, the deep ANC model is trained to canceling surrounding noise while preserving speech signal. The reference signal used to train this model is a mixture of NT and speech VT and the corresponding primary signal, DT, is a mixture of the noise and speech components. In order to attenuate only noise components and let speech pass through, the training target should be set to the noise components, which is PT converts NT, and the ideal error signal at this time should be equivalent to PT converts VT, which is the speech com components in the primary signal. The proposed approach uses real and imaginary spectrograms as inputs, and therefore, it can be regarded as a frequency domain ANC algorithm. However, frequency domain ANC algorithms usually cause a time delay between the input and output of ANC. This delay may violate the causality of constraint of ANC, and it is considered a shortcoming for frequency domain ANC algorithms. We proposed a delay compensated training strategy for deep ANC in order to address this problem. The main idea is to train the model to predict cancelling signal a few frames in advance. A diagram of this strategy is shown in this slide, where N denotes the total number of frames in the input signal, M denotes the number of predicted frames, 
Specifically, the input signal is first expanded by padding m frames of zero at the beginning. Then the first n frames of the expanded signal are used as new inputs to train the model, while the training target is kept unchanged. Hence, it is equivalent to use the input signal to predict m frames of target in advance. Therefore, this strategy can solve the uh, prob latency problem of frequency domain ANC systems. <clears throat> Now let's take a look at the experiments part. To train a noise independent model, we expose the ANC model to a large variety of noise and noise environments in the training stage and use 10,000 noises to create the noise training set and use speech signals from TAMI dataset to generate noisy speech training set. Taking in current active noise control as an example, we simulate the primary and secondary passes by using the image method in a simulated rectangular enclosure with size three times four times two meter. The T6 values are randomly sampled from this list. Saturation effects produced by the loudspeaker are the most important nonlinearity in ANC system. In this experiments, the loudspeaker saturation is represented by the scaled error function as it is given here. Y is the input to the loudspeaker and eta square is the strength of nonlinearity. In total, we generate 20,000 training signals and 100 testing signals for situations when this reference signal is noise and noisy speech respectively. We first evaluate performance uh, of deep ANC trained with noise, which is denoted as CRN underscore N. We use normalized mean square error as a performance matrix the value of normalized mean square error is usually below zero and the lower value indicates better noise attenuation. Table one shows average NMIC of 100 testing signals. It is seen from this table that performance of FX LMS is decreased when it comes to nonlinear cases. THF FX LMS, which is a nonlinear ANC algorithm, it models a second pass as a nonlinear model and achieves good noise attenuation in different nonlinear systems. The proposed deep ANC system outperforms comparison method and generalizes well to untrained noises and untrained nonlinearities. In addition, using delay compensated training strategy can obtain acceptable noise attenuation while the overall performance is dropped slightly. This slide shows the performance of the deep ANC in situations when the reference signal is a noisy speech. Here we use Pascal story to evaluate the speech quality and the intelligibility uh, of the speech components existed in the error signal. Unprocessed denotes these results when there is no ANC. <clears throat> it can be seen that the performance of CRN trained with noisy speech is comparable to that of CRN trained with noise when tested in the noise only situations. Even though the formal one is trained with noisy speech, for situations with noisy speech, traditional methods and the CRN trained with noise focus on minimizing the error signal and therefore uh, they distort the speech components as reflected by lower store and pass value than unprocessed noisy speech. CRN trained with noisy speech can improve store and pass value and the performance of models with delay compensated strategy are comparable to that of CRN train without delay compensated strategy. This slide shows the, how we train deep ANC to achieve ANC within a small spatial zone. To achieve quiet zone, ANC can be trained in an RR independent way by exposing the model to a variety of RRs sampled within a small zone during training. To be specific, we simulate the quiet zone as a sphere with radius five centimeters randomly and select a, and randomly select 100 points within the sphere as the location of the error microphone and generate 100 pairs of RRs for primary and secondary paths by using the image method. Then we use the training data generated with these RRs to train the deep ANC. The results are given here. R here denotes the distance from the zone center to the testing area. Generally speaking, the deep ANC model trained this way achieves substantially substantial noise attenuation at any point within this sphere. Uh, finally is the 
conclusion. In this paper, we have proposed a deep learning based approach to address ANC problem and the proposed method can be trained not only to cancel noise, but also selectively attenuate the noise components of noisy speech. We have also introduced a delay compensated training strategy and investigated the proposed approach for spatial noise. In our future study, we will try, we will extend the pr present work to multi-channel version and evaluate it on real recorded data.